Why is this pixelated edge there? It wasn't in the film. <laughs> Let me explain the situation. I try to watch one of my short films and surprise, when I play it, something was going on in the frames. At first time I didn't know what was going on exactly, like if some frames were like blended or more blurry in between. Also sometimes I, I could see like artifacts like uh, pixelated parts, so I started the following experiment. First I recorded the TV at 60 frames per second to watch it frame by frame in slow motion. Then a time code at 240. It's clear now, this TV adds three different blended frames between my original ones. But why is this happening? Well, Smart TVs now has a brain that analyzes the movement and adds fake frames. Every brand has a different name for this function, say True Motion, Auto Motion Plus, Motion Flow. Their idea is that with more frames you get a smoother experience. So they try to fit their refreshment rates, say 60 Hz, 240 Hz or more. Sometimes you can disable this function, sometimes you can't. But I find it in mind that you always will have some blending between frames. The effect or sensation that produces these added frames is called soap opera. And some people like it and others don't. I don't like it at all. First, because the character fades in and fades out, giving like a strobing effect. Instead of appearing moved, it changes the opacity. The second thing, because you are not watching pretty clean frames. Instead of this, you see a lot of times pixelated edges like a compressed video because of the codec. And finally, the most annoying thing. When I make a movie, I decide the look I want for it. That also means the frame rate. And because you are making it frame by frame, every frame is important. Normally, stop motion animation is made by taking 24 different pictures of a puppet or an object in set to make one second of animation. This is called full animation or animating at once. And it means that each frame is different. Second option, and this is the one that I use the most, it's called animating at twos. That means that instead of taking 24 pictures, instead of taking 24 different pictures, you take each picture two times. That's called animating at twos. It's possible to animate with less frames per second and also with much more, but it depends on the project you are working on and also in technical things, for example if you are working for cinema, for TV, for internet, or if you are in a country that works at 25 or a country that works in 30. So many things around frame rate that I should make a video only about frame rate. This thing also depends on the animator, so for example I like a lot animating at 12 frames per second, but let me know in the comments if you prefer animating at 24 or you prefer animating at 30 or you prefer animating at 6 frames per second. TVs and cinema projectors work completely different. In the cinema, a film projector shows us 24 different frames every second. But in fact, because of the mechanical shooter, it shows us 3 times every single frame, with blacks in between. This allows the movie to move between frame and frame. In the early TVs, the cathode ray tube TVs, the images were created from top to bottom by lines. Pretty amazing, right? 
Finally, LED TVs created by a panel of LEDs that mixing red, green and blue creates all the colors in the screen. It refreshes all the screen at the same time at certain speed. Going even deeper with this, let's see why the refreshment rate is a problem for stop motion animation. My film Fuame was shot at 12 frames per second. To be able to reproduce the film in any source, I have to double the frames from 12 to 24 frames, so I will have two times each frame. And because I am in Europe and we work in PAL, that means that we have 25 frames per second, I will end having a film of 25 frames per second. That means that I will add one frame every second and the film will be a little faster. But that's not so noticeable. And here it comes the thing with the TV. The right and easy thing, if you want a higher frame rate, would be to simply double the frame rate from 25 to 50 and it will be then four times each frame but everything will be okay. The problem is that the TV works at 60 Hz and 60 is not multiple of 25 or 50. So we have a problem. Trying to match it, it will end with frames that will stay more time in screen than others. So the animation will be no more even or smooth and it will show like a shadow effect. Like <laughs> This timeline shows you how many times stays each frame in screen. This is from the recording with the GoPro at 240 frames per second of the screen. And as you can see, there are frames that stay more time than others. Well, that's it. Hope you find this interesting. It was more about me trying to understand what was happening than nothing else. Finally, you can control how people will watch your movies, but if the message or the story arrives there, it's good enough. But yeah, from the filmmaker point of view, you, you always try to give people the best experience. So that kind of things are important too. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.